All right, so uh, in this video, I'm going to be removing the screen from a Game Boy Advanced uh, SP. I'm doing this uh, to prepare for the screen mod for a Game Boy Advance. Not this one, though. This one I'm going to leave just like that. Um, and instead of making just one super long video, I thought it might be nice to um, show me removing the screen in this one and then installing the screen in the next video and doing a recase and all of that. So um, to start off, uh, I just got this off of eBay and um, if you're not totally familiar with the screen mod, um, what makes this kind of a better machine, well the only thing that makes this a better machine is that it is, um, it's backlit. Whereas with the Game Boy Advance, it's kind of hard to there we go so you can kind of see the difference right there between the two machines um, like I said it's about the only thing that makes the Game Boy SP superior in my opinion I think that um, the, the the kind of form factor if you would it's um it's not as good I like having the my hands on either side of it. So um, I'm going to be removing this screen and uh, as you can see it is like a, a functioning device which is pretty or a functioning screen. The device it doesn't really matter much but the screen it's fairly important that that functions as it should. Um, so like one thing that you can do the reason why I'm doing this is that I was able to find a screen um, I was able to find a, an SP for less money than um, it would cost to buy just the screen itself. A lot of the websites I went on, either like at uh, God of Gaming on eBay or uh, Retro Modding, they're like 60 bucks, 50 to 60 bucks, and I got this for like 30 on eBay. So if you if you have the time to like stock eBay, um, I would suggest it because you can really save some money. Um, I'm gonna open a soda. All right, so with this, um, I bought a set of tools. Um, I had been using um, some screwdrivers that just came with one of my case uh, components when I recased the get my first Game Boy Advance, and uh, they're just garbage. They, I mean, they're fine if you're gonna do one, but I've done, you know, this is going to be like my third device with another one on the way, and uh, I figured it was probably worth investing in a nice set. This is, um, this set is fairly inexpensive. Um, you can get it on Amazon. It, um, you know, I, I looked up iFixit tools, and the iFixit tools are, I mean, they're, I, I'm, almost certain they're probably nicer but I think these will do these will be just fine and look at I mean I, I don't know that's pretty cool but I'm an idiot so um, but there's also like a lot of really great uh, bits in here there's like security torques the ones with the holes in the center um, a lot of small screwdrivers um, star bits um, flathead Phillips head all of that so they also have these um, the triangle security bits, which uh, Nintendo uses. The other thing uh, you'll probably need is an X-Acto knife. So uh, to start off, there's all these little rubber plugs, and those need to get taken out. I like using, um, wait, maybe that's a sticker. Maybe it's just this one. I like using the X-Acto knife. It's, um, it's kind of easy to get in strong there we go
All right. So um, one thing I figured out, uh, you know, third video in is it's probably best not to talk when I'm doing the mundane things like removing the screws. Um, because then when I uh, fast forward through it, it just sounds like a squirrel talking. Um, I'm also um, realizing that I made a mistake in removing this because I do have to take apart the bottom part of the case. Um, also, uh, my suspicions that there were screws beneath those two top corner ones, those were confirmed. Um, they are, and those little rubber grommets are just uh, a little bit more difficult to remove. So uh, on the back side, there are several screws. There's four in the corners, there's one right there, and then there's the battery cover. And I'm fairly certain that the battery cover is hiding a, an additional screw. So I, I wanna check that first. And it is, it is, uh, it is hiding one screw right there. So, um, something kind of odd. Oh, never mind. So they do have, for the battery cover, it's a Phillips head screw, and then the screw beneath that is a security, that tri-wing screw, so. So that lifts right off. Um, we have like this metal sheet to protect <clears throat> uh, or to help guide the game cartridge in and then the two shoulder buttons. They are actually in there pretty well. I don't think they fall out like the um, regular Game Boy Advance ones do. Um, so next up, well I mean here's the motherboard. This thing looks great. Let's see if I can find the screws. All right, so there's three, and they are all Phillips head screws. So I'm gonna switch back to that other bit. See how this fits. Snug as a bug in a rug. I'm not too concerned about staying organized. Um, I don't really know what to do with this thing when I'm done, because without a screen it doesn't have much use. I pondered for, you know, a little bit, a few moments, putting um, the non-backlit screen into this one. Um, but I realized that, that that would not work at all, because there, you have to get an adapter to put the um, the backlit one into the regular case, so that means I would also need an adapter to put the um, non-backlit one into here. So um, if you haven't messed with a ribbon cable, you can't just yank it out. There's usually two tabs. Um, in some electronics, there's like a little flip, uh, like a little arm that goes across here that you can flip up, but these are just two, um, two clips. And you pull those out, and when you do, you can see that just pops out super duper easily. And here's some of the um, silicone pads for that. I'm not sure where that other thing went. Here we go. Put those to the side. I like to take off all the silicone pads. I don't know why. But uh, all right, so there it is, our motherboard all taken out. I'm going to put that back there. Um, for removing the screen, um, you just sort of, you have to weave the ribbon through there. Let's see if I can do this. Aha, okay. So this is pretty ingenious. Um, 
the way this works is uh, so you have the hinge where this goes through and you can see it um, if we look right here it's actually the ribbon is coiled and so when it unfolds it actually loosens the coil the coil is at its tightest when it's closed and so that allows it to kind of travel down there then pop out right here and um, what I didn't notice I can't weave it through there there's a there's a hidden screw right underneath that ribbon cable so I'm gonna get that out the Phillips head also put that in my pile and now that I've taken that out um, this falls off and I am able to much more easily remove the ribbon cable and there we have it so here is the screen um, next up I'm going to be I'll have to remove this plastic cover and I haven't decided how I'll do that yet um, I may have to do some research online I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be um, using the heat gun but um, this is it this is how you remove a screen, the backlit display screen from the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, if you want, uh, stay tuned for the. Um, no, it's stay tuned. That doesn't make sense. I'll be hopefully uh, later this week be uploading a video about how you can um, install this into a Game Boy Advance. Um, I'll be getting the uh, the hardware for that shortly. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, um, or you know, hit like or do whatever you want. Uh, all right, toodaloo.